And what's good? Um, so today's topic is about the NFL versus the NBA. Now, obviously, when it comes to um, when it comes to different sources like uh, rivalries and, and 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 beefs, you know what I'm saying, and competition, you know what I'm saying. If you want to look at the M- NFL, the NFL don't necessarily ha- have that much competition, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, a whole bunch of new guys are coming in, a whole bunch of new quarterbacks that's coming in, you know what I'm saying? So the NFL has to do their due, dig- due diligence and uh, and find the next, you know, rivalry, kind of like how they had it with Peyton Manning. No, it was Peyton Manning and Drew Brees, and then it was Peyton Manning and Tom Brady, and then it was Eli versus, you know, probably the whole NFC East. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, like it was Tony Romo versus Eli Manning. And then there was Donovan McNabb versus Eli. You know what I'm saying? So now that half of these guys retired, uh, it's hard on the NFL to duplicate that. You know? But I just think I just think that the, N- the NBA, on the other hand, it keeps it fresh. You know what I'm saying? Like you have rivalries all over the, 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 the league. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I mean, as a as a business, that's what you have to create. You know what I'm saying? You have to create these rivalries, just like how wrestling, you know? Like, you had Stone Cold, The Rock, Austin, Triple H, Kane, Mankind. You know what I'm saying? They all beefed with each other. The same scenario goes with sports, you know? Like, if you don't have a rivalry, if you don't have anything to grasp on, that crap is going to be boring. Like yesterday, I watched about like what? I I watched about like five games yesterday in college. You can see the fans' reaction. College fans are very passionate, you know. I mean, say what you want, but I just think that college fans are very passionate. Uh, now, when it comes to the NFL, you know, the majority of the NFL age population is not even that high. You know, it ranges from teenagers to you know, people in their 20s, people in their 30s, people in their 40s, 50s, 60s, you know what I'm saying? Unless you like a junkhead, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I just think that the NFL does a great job of, of spicing things up, you know what I'm saying? Um, but that's just me, you know? Um, don't necessarily know whole a whole lot of NFL players these days. Now, if you would have told me Ten years ago, oh, who's that? Oh, who's that? Oh, I can name ten of these in the back. Of, like, like it, it, it's it's cake. You know what I'm saying? But the league has changed. They implemented so much rules. They take forever to damn nearly make a decision on the play. They have to go to instant replay just to see if the ball ball was caught. Like, what's the catch? You know what I'm saying? Like, the defenders are handicapped. They can't really necessarily do anything. Uh, they're implementing the new taunting rules. Like, so why do y'all pour y'all money into the NFL? If, the, if this is the NFL, then screw it. I'm just going to tune into basketball, you know? Because this is not what the NFL is like was like 10 years ago. Or 20 years ago. You know what I'm saying? But obviously with a lot of lawsuits and a whole lot of, you know, bull jive, you know, they decided to clamp down on it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you you see less NFL in commercials. You might probably see, like, what, Saquon Barkley. You might probably see, you know, Baker Mayfield. You might probably see, like, star, you know, star NFL players. You know what I'm saying? So... I mean, I just think that overall the NBA just does a great job of marketing. They do a good job of 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 memes. You know what I'm saying? Like they just do a very good job, and you know, um, and 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 the commissioner. You know what I'm saying? Adam Silver. You know, like he's doing a tremendous job. You know, like the NFL was trying to actually bribe him away from the NBA. Bunch of damn losers. But you know what? They stuck with Roger Goodell. And his non having fun ass, you know what I'm saying? I hate. I I, I never liked the Roger Goodell. To be honest with you, 
I never did. You know, he's not a people's person. He's a people's pleaser, but he's not a people's person. You know, like every day and every year in the draft, he was he's he's constantly getting booed. <laughs> Why? Why is that? You know, when Adam Silver comes out, you barely hear anybody booing. You might probably hear them boo because you know they're afraid of what their team might pick or who their team might pick. But other than that, they're not gonna boo. You know, Adam Silver. You know. Um, like, come on, but, you know, I'm not saying that the NBA is perfect, you know what I'm saying, I'm kind of biased because basketball was my first sport, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, I just think that basketball just does a lot of things better than the NFL does, you know, they're trying to, the NFL tries to compete, but at the end of the day, when it comes to market, you know, when it comes to financial, the NFL has it down pack, the NFL generates so much money it's crazy you know they generate more money than the nba mlb hnl you know even college you know for a sport that don't even do that much it generates so much money it's like is if you want to go to the financial part of it then okay you know what i'm saying stadiums versus arenas you already know which one you know fills up seats more you know what i'm saying stadiums are more jam-packed in arenas you know what i'm saying you'd like you're not crowd everybody's not crowded under one roof you know what i'm saying like you can actually breathe and 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 smell the fresh air you know what i'm saying so um but you know if you want to go that route then okay but i'm just saying that the nfl is, is is losing his grip and you know i've talked about this about my friend I told him in the next 10 years, starting now, in the next 10 years, will the NFL be the NFL still, you know, or will the NBA take over? Because the way it's looking right now, you got Zion for the next 10 years. You got uh, you got John Morant for the next 10 years. You got RJ Barrett for the next 10 years. You got the Mellow Ball for the next 10 years. So... The NFL, I mean, the NBA is in good hands. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you probably got Durant for the next four or five years, Kyrie for the next four or five years, LeBron James for the next two or three years, Kawhi Le You know, like, you get so much out of the NBA. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the NFL is like where, where the material is coming from. You know what I'm saying? So... Because sooner or later, everybody's going to retire. Drew Brees are ready to retire. Ben Roethlisberger, this might be his last year. Like, where's the continuity coming from from the NFL? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't bank on these college kids coming out of out of college into the NFL because nobody's going to even watch the, the, the college unless you're a junkhead or you have a few college teams that you root for. You know what I'm saying? Or you probably a team... Or you probably a fan of both, but if you just strictly a fan of the college side, then you're not gonna know who any of these cats are. I don't even know who Trevor Lawrence is, to be honest with you, you know. But again, the NFL want to spray perfumes on these quarterbacks, making them look like they, you know, untouchable. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it is what it is, but um. You know, take it how you like. Take it how you uh, live it. You know what I'm saying? Or take it from a from from a can of paint. You know, I just think that the NF the NBA is doing a better job right now than NFL. Marketing wise, um, marketing wise, uh, jersey sales, um. Fans, you know what I'm saying? All over, like the NBA is dominating the NFL on social media. Uh, but the only area that the NF the NFL has the NBA in is finance. It's financial. Like it's bananas how much money the NFL generates. It's crazy, 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 crazy. And last but not least, guaranteed money. Like, I don't care who you are in the NFL. Your money is not even fully guaranteed. You know, so if you sign a four, five, six, seven-year contract 
all that money you're not even gonna get back. You might get some back, but not all. But in the NFL, Major League Baseball, all your money is guaranteed. And we could go down memory lane and saying that okay, yeah, you got, you know, you got how many rosters? You know, you got 53 men on each roster. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard to, you know, say you know what I'm just gonna give all this money to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if that was the case, T.O. would have been the highest paid wide receiver in NFL history. Randy Moss would have been the highest paid wide receiver in NFL history. Why wasn't they? They wasn't, the owners wasn't going to allow these wide receivers or players to dictate their team. You know, because obviously the quarterbacks are the captain. The quarterbacks have the last laugh. 90% of the offense or 90% of the team have to rely on the quarterback. So that's why they talk about quarterbacks so much. You know, like in the NBA, the 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 point the position is pointless. It's no the no the pos, the position in basketball is positionless. You can have a dominant center, you can have a dominant point guard, you can have a, a dominant power forward, dominant small forward. I'm not gonna say shooting guard because I don't consider shooting guard uh, a dominant position. You know what I'm saying? Even though there there's been a few good ones, you know, Kobe, Allen, Allen Iverson, Ray Allen. You know what I'm saying? Steve Nash. He could play, you know, a little bit small guard. So you know, I mean, with the NBA, they they switch with they switch it around. You know, they just don't they don't pinpoint on one position. You know, even though you know, as a Knicks fan, we are still struggling to find that one point guard. And we've been struggling for years to find that one point guard. And we still haven't found it. So, I mean, you can look at it like Washington Rams, the Washington football team. The Washington football team and the New York Knicks have the same situation. They can't find a quarterback. We can't find a point guard. Simple as that, if if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is. Like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. Now, I'm just saying this hypothetically. If the Washington football team were to pick Justin Fields, who knows? Who knows? But we'll never know because he got picked out. He got picked by Chicago, so... By Bear, by Chicago Bears, so that would never happen. So I'm just saying, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.